All right, guys, we are back with Tractor Tips. Um, I wanted to put this quick video together um, because of uh, the amount of technology there is out there right now. We've got the new F1 controller and the machine. Everyone's getting confused. Um, what controller should I buy? There's uh, a lot out there, just uh, a lot of noise out there. So I wanted to uh, bring our attention back to the X1. Um, it's uh, not been getting too much attention out there recently, so I just thought I'd give you a quick overview of what it does, how it functions, and um, answer some questions. So, let's explain what it does. Uh, I'll give it a little breakdown. First of all, the bottom half here is pretty much the play, pause, nudge functions. Just like you would on a turntable, you move things around, push the, push the record forward. That's what this does. Also, if we press the hot key button, it then changes this area to hot cues. Um, the lights, the ones that are lit up, are the ones that have a hot cue set. Uh, the hot cues go from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, down to 8. And this is deck A, and this is deck B. Um, above from this, we have this alters the, uh, the loop um, amount. So uh, from 2 beats, 4 beats, 8 beats, 16, so on, um, for both deck A and B. Then up here we have the uh, effects on. So that will turn the effects on for effect unit 1 and effect unit 2. Um, effect unit 1 being on the top left of the screen and over this way here. And uh, effect unit 2 is this one over here. Um, so that's the effects. Um, these are scroll buttons for the browser, so you can flick through your tracks. The the one on the right and left do exactly the same thing, apart from they load into different uh, decks. So this one, you press that in, it'll load into deck A, and this one, you'll press that in, load into deck B. The top section is the effects parameters and the effects uh, selectors, and I'll just show you how all that works. So. Um, I've loaded in uh, a track into deck um, deck A simply by pressing uh, the load button and then uh, we can just go ahead and play this. So the one thing that uh, the X1 does not do is control the mixer settings, so the, the, the volume faders, the bass, mid and treble. Um, so you'd either need another controller to do that or use an external mixer. To make that happen and control the volumes. So I've just for this demo, I'm just using the mouse um, for the fader. Um, it's not something I need to use um, right now during this demo. So um, the hot cues, as I say, these show up. The hot cues we can just jump from one to the other while the track's playing. And just jump around the track. We can also lay a cue down as we go along. So this one's not lit, we can press it, it sets a cue point. I can keep jumping back to that cue point. So then we turn the hot cues off, and just play, play the uh, record as normal. The loop, so again, we can see this moving one, two, four, eight. Let's throw in a four bar loop. And now we have a four beat loop, okay? And to come out of the loop, we hold shift and press this button again, and it deactivates the loop. Let's turn on the top uh, effects panel one. Now you're not going to hear any change because we haven't turned the effects on here. Um, we can see that these, these encoders control the parameters, we'll turn the effect on. And so long as the effects panel one is switched on to deck A, you'll notice when we turn this up, we're going to get an effect. We can change the rate. And these buttons are obviously correspond to the buttons underneath here. Okay. If we want to change the effect, we can just hold the shift button and then press this one here, and as you can see, the effects change. Okay. So we can select a different effect, turn it on, 
And this is um, one of the one of the advanced effects on the left there. On the right hand side, on effects two panel, I've got an inline effect set up. So these again, these encoders control all these uh, parameters. The shift and each of these buttons will change the effect, like so. And all these effects we can set up to um, all different effects. Uh, let's go with uh, this. And again, we can turn this on. Uh, the dry wet is here, so we can turn it up and we turn each of the effects on with the corresponding button. And the filter. We can add the delay as well. And we can turn them all off. So that's the X1 in simple terms. Just thought I'd give you a quick overview. That's what it does. And uh, in my opinion, it's uh, probably the most functional controller. And if you're just starting out, moving from the computer, mouse controls and whatnot, um, that would probably be the, the one I'd recommend you guys go for. Um, the F1 and the machine are a little bit more uh, involved and they don't do all the functions necessary of the sort of standard DJ. You can obviously set them up differently, um, but for a beginner, um, I definitely would recommend this being the one to go for. Alright, thanks for watching guys. We'll uh, catch you again soon. If you have any questions, you can get us on uh, tractortips.com and also on Twitter at Tractor Tips. We will uh, catch you soon.